The faculty-student relationship at St. Sebastian's I think is really powerful. Um, in the time I've been here, it, it animates everything we do, it inspires me when I come in. That's why we're here. We're here for these kids. We are an incredibly small community here at St. Sebastian's with a class size of 10 or 11 students, teacher ratio of seven to one. With a smaller class, I feel like it's easier to learn and to be more engaged. Because if you're struggling, the teacher could help you. The reality of every day when I step into the classroom is those 10, 11 boys that I might have, I know every one of them. I know how class went for them yesterday, what might have been going on in their lives. And just with the small class sizes, getting to know a student that much better uh, makes them that much more comfortable to come for extra help uh, and really sets them up for success better than a lot of places I've seen. Helps the boys feel really valued. It helps them know that they're loved here, that their teachers care about them. They're not teachers, they're friends. They are more worried about you as a human being rather than you as a grade. Your relationship, you know, goes a lot further than just a teacher. They become a friend. And it also helps make our job easier. If I know my boys really well, if I know the students in the room really well, I can reach them in different ways. I can uh, push the right buttons. I, I, I know when to push them and when to back off. I know when to, um, you know, maybe grab them for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, so it's that, that, that relationship, that intimacy, it just animates everything we do. The teachers here are here for us, and that comes across every single day. The faculty was here to challenge us and support us to be those lifelong learners. They wanted us to love knowledge and to look at the world with an open mind. As a student, I saw how much time my teachers were putting in for me, you know, by coming in early and then staying, in, staying late for me, that I never wanted to let them down. Teachers find themselves particularly busy here. You know, you get to know the kids so well uh, that you want to be involved from so many angles in their lives, uh, and we're well positioned to do so. So once you get to know the kids really well, uh, it's, it's hard not to want to be the best teacher you can be for them, um, the best coach you can be for them, and uh, to have a positive impact on these students. The teacher-coach model at St. Sebastian's is really unique in that it allows the athlete to have a really connected and, and tight-knit relationship with their coach. You can grow a bond with a teacher even outside of school when you're not trying to learn and trying to be an athlete. Your teacher can also be your coach and help you a lot. You start to develop a trust and a relationship so that when you come back to the classroom, all of the lessons and the, and, and the emotions that are tied to the sport you did or the club you've moderated transfer. So you are gonna get so much more out of the young man uh, because you have this larger relationship than you would if you were only their teacher or only their coach. I coach lacrosse here. Very few of my players graduate where I haven't taught them at one level or another. So I know them as students. I might have taught them in a writing class and really understood them on a different level, a side of them that I never see in lacrosse. They might be really funny and I, I just didn't know that at all. They might be a great poet and I didn't know that at all. Kids that I'm seeing out on the varsity fields uh, in the afternoon are the same kids that are coming in here into the innovation lab with ideas that are wowing me. And they're the same kids that are taking the AP classes and the honors courses and doing well. And I feel like that culture has remained the same over the last 20 years. And um, it, I think that's pretty incredible. They do understand that our academics come first and they hold us to a high standard on the academic side and the athletic side. They're always challenging you, whether it's in the classroom or on the field, and they're always pushing you to be greater than you, than you are. They know what you can become. The greatest gift to me is to see this young man grow from a boy into the man he wants to be, uh, and I'm invested in that. Uh, and that sometimes happens in the classroom, sometimes it happens on the sports, Field. Sometimes it happens in the, in the robotics club, um, but that is always going on on campus when you're here. Yeah, this case will be over.